Hey guys, so we have the Ocean Technology Systems Spectrum full face mask here. Um, it's a full face mask where you can install your own second stage. Um, here's a quick look at the box. Why wait to communicate? Barcodes, part numbers. So let's take a look what's inside. There's the full face mask. And what else is in the box? We have a couple zip ties for when you install the second stage. Got the stainless steel wrench for your regulator. We've got the owner's manual. Definitely want to take a quick look through that. Um, it shows you how to install everything, uh, install your regulator, install comms, install ABV valve, all that good stuff. Um, it's all good to know. Okay, so now let's take a look at the mask. This thing is beautiful. Awesome. Orange tinted glass, reflective, good silicone. Here's a port for comms, and I believe they're gonna use this port for an ABV valve, an ambient breathing valve, um, so you're not wasting all of your air on the surface. Um, we've got a screw here on each side, so that if you're glass ends up getting kind of scratched up you can replace it or if you don't like the tinted you can replace it if you don't like the clear and you want to switch to the tinted you can replace it um, we've got some accessory spots here um, I believe they're gonna have a couple mounts for GoPros and lights and stuff like that um, which haven't came out yet um, got a warning label here I want to read that um, I'm gonna take off the webbing here which is appears to be the same webbing that they use on their other masks the spectrum or the uh, stealth and the guardian now as you can see we'll put this up to your face here the tint is blue and it's not orange which they don't make that clear and some people don't realize that until they order the mask so just so you know um, on the inside of the mask here we've got the inner frame I don't know if you guys can see that it's kind of hard to tell it's pretty much just a hard plastic that runs from port to port um, just to give it a little bit of uh, rigidity I guess make things a little more um, rugged um, and then obviously here's where you would install the second stage when you put in your second stage you take off the mouthpiece that came on your second stage and then you're going to remove the inner frame here and you'll put the second stage in once you get that out you want the inner frame removed so that you can install your zip ties onto the mask here. Um, and the manual explains how to do all that. And that's how she looks. This is with the Scuba Pro S600. Um, this, for me, this was the easiest and um, the best breathing full face mask that I've ever used. Um, this regulator paired with this mask is the most comfortable lightest um, mask I've ever used. Um, now I have the Guardian here so we can do a little side by side. Um, I'll take the webbing off of this one also. It's a, you know, looks like the same webbing that's on the Spectrum. OK, 
Okay, so similarities, differences. You can change the glass out on both. The Guardian does have a ambient breathing valve up top here. Um, the Spectrum is going to have one down here, which is, I don't know, on, if you're on a boat or if you're on a dock or something, it's going to work just fine. But when you're doing a surface swim, I'm not sure how well it's going to work. Um, you have your, the ability to install any second stage you like. You have a dial of breath right here. The Guardian does not have a dial of breath, um, but this... Um, this regulator comes out, but this regulator, there are adjustments um, here. If you're a technician or if you um, would like to contact OTS, you can ask them how to how to do that. Um, but there are adjustments. Um, the other thing, let's take a look on the inside. I mean, first of all, you can just tell this is the Guardian is just way more rigid than the Spectrum. Um, let's take a look at the skirt. You can see how kind of loose and kind of floppy that is if you can see the it's kind of pushing up on the regulator how easy it moves um, be sure when you install the regulator too that it's tight because those can come loose if they're not installed properly the Guardian has this frame going all the way around the mask I mean this thing is just super durable this is this is great for a commercial mask I've had this for about six years um, the Guardian, we have a nose clearing device, adjustable. It has, um, you can change the height. Um, this guy does not, for nose clearing, you'll just simply squeeze on the skirt there. Squeeze your nose. Um, oral nasal pocket on both. What we don't have though, on the spectrum that I like a lot about the Guardian is it does not have a defog feature meaning so what it does not have is it's hard to see but when you when you inhale the first thing that happens there's a little vent down here at the bottom of the visor when you inhale the first thing that happens is the air hits the visor first and then it comes in through these diaphragms here and then it comes in to your mouth, to your lungs. Um, so how that works is the air hits the visor, it kind of blows everything off. It's just kind of, um, it's just kind of like a, a vent, kind of like on the Kirby, Kirby Morgans. Um, so that's really nice. When I'm diving in cold water, here it's always less than 50 degrees. Um, when you get water inside of your mask, it's kind of a pain in the ass to get the, get the fog out of there, especially when you're working hard. Um, so, when I'm diving the Guardian, that's that's the thing that it only takes two minutes and the fog's out of there. Um, let's see, the purge feature on the Guardian, I don't, don't really like because you tilt your head forward, push the purge, the water doesn't come out. Um, what you have to do is kind of pull on the bottom of the mask here, push the purge button, and have a little opening so that the water can kind of drain out through here. Um, that's kind of one thing that they have built in. You have two options. You can lean forward um, if your mask floods, push the purge button, all the water will come out. Um, you can also uh, stay facing forward like this, push the purge button and pull on this little tab. If you guys could see these little three little holes, that's made for the water to drain out, any excess water. Um, and that works really well. I, they have the same system on the Stealth. Um, so, that's a look at, at these masks here. Um, the other thing with the Guardian um, and the Stealth, um, they have an accessory rail. It costs, I don't know, 150 to 200 bucks. Um, but you can put a mount a GoPro on there, mount a light on there, both, if you wanted. Um, I'm not sure how, how much stuff you can add on to this. Um, Usually OTS does a pretty good job of um, kind of thinking outside the box when it comes to that. Um, but anyways, guys, that's my review here um, on the Guardian and on the Spectrum. Um, let's take a look at some underwater footage. If you guys have any questions, um, comments, concerns, go ahead and leave them um, below in the comment section. And I'll talk to you guys later. Enjoy. Thanks.